Fall sunflowers love moist soils. We had 12 inches of rain in June of 2024. The prairie exploded with false sunflowers, also known as oxeye. Two years ago, Coriopsis dominated the prairie. Last year, it was brown-eyed Susans. But this was the year for the false sunflower. Let's put the drone in the air to get a bird's eye view. If we climb higher, we can get a good view of the 10-acre woods at the prairie and the countryside to the east. Forty different flowering prairie plants called forbs were planted at the prairie. Here are a few that were blooming in June, starting with butterfly weed, purple prairie clover, hoary vervain, and purple cone flowers. These all contrast with the yellow of the false sunflowers. This rattlesnake master will be blooming soon. But the false sunflowers definitely ruled the roost. Ten different prairie grasses were included in the planting mix. Scattered throughout the prairie you can find big blue stem. The planting was heavy on forbs and light on the grasses. The grasses will slowly spread, but for now the flowers rule. The patch of sweetgrass planted two years ago is doing well. And wild Canada rye, planted as a cover crop, is still hanging on by reseeding itself each year. June grass is doing well. 23 acres of the reserve are planted to agricultural crops. The diversity of the prairie is a stark contrast to the Monsanto monoculture of the crop fields. The Sunny Peace Prairie is a registered Monarch Way Station with monarchwatch.org. So of course you will find milkweed. Rest on one of the benches and admire the view. The Sunny Peace Prairie is open to the public during daylight hours. There is a large parking area, a pavilion with picnic tables, a vault type toilet, and a kiosk with trail maps and information for using the property. Before we end this video, let me introduce you to Sonny, who had a kind, gentle nature and provided an appropriate namesake for the prairie. <laughs>